lovely ladies and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fall haul for y'all <laughs> from Trader Joe's. We love fall, it's our absolute favorite season so come with us, take a look at all of the fall seasonal stuff that Trader Joe's has to offer um, and get your fall bacon and cooking on. Okay guys, we are back. We're gonna actually do the confection just because we have a lot. There's McCray. Um, we're just gonna do the cold foods first. So they have a ton of stuff at Trader Joe's. As you guys know, everything seasonal is... We love Trader Joe's. We love Trader Joe's. So we're just gonna go by category. So this is all of the freezer food that I found that I think we would like. They did have um, pumpkin Samoas and they did have um, a couple other things, but these were our favorites. We are cooking this now, which is why this is open. So we have our butternut squash mac and cheese I think this is gonna be really salty but like i don't know i'm excited to try this people say this is delicious so i'm okay. really excited for this one we'll see we will see we have our pumpkin waffles this is like a stand piece this is just a standalone piece i mean this is going to be delicious i feel this one i'm not sure about but i thought this was super cute i don't this think it's so good because quesadilla. they have like the um pumpkin mole burrito and that was disgusting i like spit it out immediately so if it's anything like you the, tried it yeah but it might have been because it was expired too it was, but it was two days past <laughs> i don't even know but it wasn't it was a no so well, we're gonna try this so we'll let you get let you guys know next is the spaghetti squash um i'm really interested in this one because i usually don't like squash however it looks really cute and i'm all about trying new things so we'll give this a go Mm -hmm. Turkey pot pie. This is an obvious choice for obvious reasons. Yeah, this is. I don't think this is gonna be. This yeah. is just like a no brainer. Yeah, I don't think oh. this is gonna be bad. This is not gonna be. This is huge. I don't know if you guys can see that for like maybe two two people. Yeah. And then we have, I thought was different, some riced cauliflower. I hate cauliflower. Risotto. <laughs> so I do not hate cauliflower. <laughs> I don't love cauliflower, but let's see how this, this could be really good with like fish. Um, chicken. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It oh. says, what does it say to? We're doing the ingredients next. No, I'm just saying, like, how does it say? Oh, you put it in the microwave. Oh, I think this is gonna be disgusting. We'll see. <laughs> so. so our next category is soup sauces and spreads. And so mm -hmm. this little camper right here is the spicy pumpkin curry simmer sauce. So this probably be good with just like some noodles. Um, or just baste it in some chicken, let it marinate maybe yeah. overnight. I'm not a fan of curry, so I don't, I'm not as excited to try that. <laughs> um, this looks really good though. Um, autumn harvest soup, pumpkin and butternut squash. I am a huge fan of butternut squash because it has like a sweet taste to it a little bit. So I feel like this is gonna be really, really good. Put some little hemp seeds or pumpkin, pumpkin Ooh, seeds in there. Good idea. That would be really, really good basic a basic meal maybe like a little grilled cheese on the side if you want to get a little fancy that's a fantastic idea um i'm how do you even say the word i'm tom no whatever harvest creamy pasta sauce however you say it it's delicious it's, again we did i did try it i'll say i i tried it with um the pumpkin ravioli that they have and absolutely delicious i think these look very are kind of these look kind of similar to each other yeah. Um, these are similar to each other, but this one just seems like it's a soup and this one's just like a pasta sauce. Right, that's a long difference. Um, this, I'm a huge fan, like, I'm, I really don't consume cheese, but when I do, it's cream cheese. <laughs> and so I'm like, lying or, or, um, you're feta. Oh yeah, okay, I did lie. It's either feta cheese or cream cheese. But, um, I really would like to try this, and it's probably gonna go good with those pumpkin bagels that Chambry got too, so. Super cute, I love the packaging too. I know, it's so cute. bagel. It's so fall. Love that for them. Um, I also am a huge fan of anything that's like super sweet on like breakfast items or dessert items. So this this just very much screams to me um, Cinnabon. <laughs> so definitely very much DIY Cinnabon. Very much DIY Cinnabon. So I'm very excited to try this. I wonder how okay, much. Okay, next section we have is a pretty big suction. It's schnacks. The most important section. Schnack attack. So this is perfect if you have kids. If you're traveling anywhere, this is pumpkin fall. This is what you should be having. So of course, pumpkin bars. 
Um, you know what though? In general, these are not good. <clears throat> I have to be in like the mood for them. Ones. I like the apple ones. The apple ones I don't like. If you think like, if you like the Nutri-Grain, these are not like Nutri-Grain. But Nutri-Grain are also nasty to me too. So like, oh, I like them. So yeah. if you like Nutri-Grain, then you will you you might like these. Yeah. Moving on. Um, I am a sucker for pumpkin seeds, mm, so I have to get so the pumpkin seeds, um, the pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. I'm really excited about that. And then the maple almonds, I'm sure are gonna be delicious. They're probably gonna be really good if you would probably pair it with, um, they have two kinds of granola. So they have the ginger mm. turmeric granola, and then they have the caramel apple flavored granola. Yum. I'm sure the oh, maple the apples, oatmeal. yeah, would be really good either with the oatmeal and or mixing in these nuts with there. I think that would be really good. Or some yogurt, or even do like a crisp and like whole, Actually, whole we have pulverizing these. Where'd they go? Hi, y'all. Pumpkin crisps. Yep. <laughs> Yummy. So Is I think they have cranberries. <laughs> yes, cranberries, sunflower, Oreo. Okay, we're not gonna go into details, but this is really good as it pictures on there. I think that's cream cheese. So that would be really good with the pumpkin cream, cream cheese that we um just showed mm. you a little bit ago. So that's a snack, I almost forgot about that. I hear mixed reviews about this, but I hear kids love them. So might be something to consider. New fruit snacks. We've tried both. I really like the apple fruit snacks um, more. The mango jalapeno do have a little twang to them. So just make sure that you are mentally prepared for that twang. Okay, next. Next we have, as you see, I, ha I did have some munchies, but that's okay. That's my business. So there are some pumpkin tortilla chips. I don't know why. But they kind of remind me of like, like what cinnamon toast crunch would taste like if it was salty. Do you get that when you taste it? I do. It's 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 good. I like it, especially I with the salsa. Like, but it's it just it tastes like just imagine cinnamon toast crunch with with no sugar. I just feel like it shouldn't have the salt and it would be good. I like, like it. It gives me almost like a sweet taste. Right. But then I like get like a bunch of salt and I'm like this shouldn't be here. It just should almost be like a sweet chip. But yeah. I like, like where they try to go with it. Yeah, I like it. I like it with the um with salsa. the salsa. So you have to try with the salsa. Yeah, you have to try with the salsa. By itself, I agree with you. I think it's kind of like Some confusing. Yeah. yeah. But um really good. So these are really good with the salsa. These are also really good with the salsa. These fall leaves. Look how cute these are. Pick one out and show us. Oh, that's adorable. That's a, you got a broke one. <laughs> Get a pretty one. How cute, how cute you? that is. Such cutie. And I love how like, if you turn it, they're like perfect scooping chip. They're like, whoop. They're perfect. These are so good. And again, the packaging, I don't know why, but you can't tell on the camera, but it's like a velvet packaging. Uh -huh. It's really nice. It has nothing to do with how good it tastes, but. Very smooth. It tastes like regular corn chips. Very good. Yeah. Nothing like major, it. nothing, you know. Um, Spicy cheese crunchies. Probably like half one, yeah. probably Next, we have our goats. And bats. Crispy potatoes. Crispy potato snacks. Oh. Again, I just got them because they're they were kind of cute. I'm not about the ghost, but again, or if you're bad. having if you're having like a a fall party, gluten free. If you're having a fall party, yes, yeah, cute. This goes to your yeah. boats. This would be cute to have on the counter and having a bowl thing. Next, I am really, I am really yeah, excited. Are, we can eat these when we wipe our Mary Jane first cycle tonight. That sounds good. <laughs> Shameless plug, Mary Jane first cycle. Um, who are we rooting for? Amari and... We're rooting for Amari and Woody. Amari and we're and also winning for, rooting for Miles by himself. Yeah. No, and we want them to work. If Karen behaves, we want then Miles we want Carol to, to work. We want Miles to be happy. Sis, don't say that. And we're also rooting for Amelia and Bennett. Of course, absolutely. Of course, we want everybody to work, but that's who that's what team we're on right now. So leave in the comments below who you guys support. Again, these are gluten-free as well, so you can enjoy um, with no guilt. Next and last chickies that we have. I think those are interesting. Again, they have nothing corn to do rice. with yeah, like fall or anything, but I mean I guess they can give you like like the, the corn. Or corn and rice. Yeah, I just thought they were interesting. So and these are vegan and gluten free. Ooh, ooh, Tabitha would like these a little Tabitha Brown. And then our last sweet yeah, snack are gonna be our pumpkin spice pretzel slims. Mm, these um, are gonna be good. These are probably gonna be good. Yeah, again, I'll have to, we will try all of this for you guys, but another one. And then actually while we're on that, I'm just gonna save this for later, but we have pumpkin spice spittoons. This is gonna be delicious if you're a coffee drinker. Just to pop that in, <laughs> you said spread it batons. around. <laughs> batons? 
Aww. <laughs> Batons. Pumpkin spice batons. <laughs> this would be really good. So again, we'll let you know what that, that tastes like. On to the next section, which will be baking. And welcome to the baking category. So first things first is the pumpkin bagels. 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 Um, if you're, did they say that in New York? Bagels? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Wherever. Um, it has pumpkin spice bits. This is probably just a basic, I mean, a, a basic, basic bagel. bagel. Um, pumpkin cheesecake, we did in fact just open this up and she's not cute on the inside, <laughs> but she probably, that doesn't mean she's not gonna taste good. I have high hopes for this. I think this is gonna be really good. Um, and then we have this protein dark chocolate muffin. This is also gluten free. Um, 12 grams of protein, yum! I've this heard is, good things about this. I just feel like, I'm just not a fan of like things that have protein in them. Like, no, that's why I, that's why I picked these two things up. So there was this protein um, chocolate muffin, and there's a pumpkin one too. But I was like, oh, we'll just try the dark chocolate. And then there's a, a, a perfect bar because I, I hear reviews. Pumpkin that they're, pie. Yeah, I hear that they're pretty good for what they are, but mm -hmm. I'm but just it's like for the fan. protein taste. Yeah, yeah, I just don't like that crumminess. It's yeah. not, I'm not a fan. This is herbs de Provence. We can't see it. Oh, this is herbs de Provence. There we go. We oui, we oui, um, oui. An aromatic and flavorful blend of thyme, medjeron, savory, <laughs> rosemary, basil, sage, and lavender. This is gonna be good in some tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think this would be good in, in a tea. It would be good in a tea. But this ought to be good on a, like on a rub. A rub for yeah, like a turkey. Like chicken, yeah. Ooh, or turkey, that would be really Thanksgiving. good. Thanksgiving, hello. Hello. I'm not cooking Thanksgiving dinner this year. Um, This is the corn cooking baking mix. And I mean, it's probably just like some, some cornbread to be honest. Probably. But I mean, you can't go wrong with corn. Mm -mm. Um, gluten-free pumpkin pancake. Ooh, Shambri was checking out some gluten-free items. Oh, what a, what a sweetie. For, I guess she's, she's also, I guess, trying to do gluten-free too. But, um, it was with you in mind. Oh, what a, what a sweetie. <laughs> you can have your pancake and eat. Okay. <laughs> I was going to pretend cute. like it was funny, but it really wasn't. That's kind of cute. Um, this, I mean, a I'm staple. excited. Yeah, yeah. which is just is a non negotiable Yeah, this I'm very excited for. Once again, giving us very Cinnabon vibes. Ready to bake, they give you five of them. I wanted to come with that glaze. You know, they always do put this picture on there, but the glaze don't be in. No, it's always you get like at the bottom. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, And then this Vermont maple syrup. I mean, you can't really go wrong with maple syrup. Maple syrup is maple syrup. This is, I'm excited. Pumpkin bread mix, bread and muffin mix. Very good. Looks like a pound cake. It kind of does. Um, butternut squash pasta. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I do, like I said, I do like butternut squash. Really but, but again, that would be really good with that creamy sauce that you guys, that autumnal. Autumnal. The autumnal mm -hmm. thing. That that I've never really seen that, that word before. Yeah, I haven't either. This poor little thing. Look <laughs> how cute these are, so, guys. These are supposed to be chocolates. Little chocolates, and I saw someone else, a different um, Bam. YouTuber. <laughs> Another YouTuber say that she bought these, and for like different parties, she would just put like each person's on top of each person's plate on top of the napkin. Each person would get like a little chocolate. I'm like, that's so cute. It's adorable. But unfortunately, I did leave it in my car. If you kind of still see like a little bit of the corn. Oh my God, right please. There. But, <laughs> super cute, guys. Get this and don't leave it out in hot weather, obviously. And then there's the pecan puffin, pumpkin, pecan, pecan. Um, which way do you say it? I kind of like flip pecan, 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 whatever. Um, this oatmeal doesn't look of high quality. <laughs> I do like a steel cut oatmeal, but I'm sure this is good regardless. I'm sure. I think you, must have you guys can tell I'm a bougie eater and just in a general sense. I'm pumpkin. This is uh, this. I can already tell it's gonna be good. Yeah. Pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal cookie mix. Look what? At that. Yes. Are you joking? Yeah, I mix the baking baking section. It's gonna be something you really get in the house. I'm very excited, very much. Okay, so. guys, and the next section will be drinks. You say. Okay, so in this house, if you guys haven't noticed, we are absolute. I guess you guys wouldn't really notice. We are tea drinkers completely. <laughs> But they've been in the house. I'm about to say maybe it'd be concerning if they're like, yeah, girl, we knew you was a tea drinker. Anyway. So there's a couple teas that I absolutely had to try. And then of course, we are also a coffee drinker in this, his house. 
Um, so there is a difference. There is a pumpkin spice coffee, of course, obviously, and it's absolutely delicious. It comes it's in a, so good. a much bigger tin like this. It tastes better than Starbucks pumpkin spice. I agree. Yeah. And I agree because you can make it as strong, you know, or as light as you want to in your regular, you know, yeah. coffee machine. So it's really good. But I had to get their autumn blend. I'll let you guys know how this tastes, but it smells, smell that. Mm -hmm. Smell it. it. Smells delicious. Can you smell it? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I smelled it and it was delicious. So absolutely, but absolutely I excited like to try I that. Like, I really like a Ravenclaw coffee. So our next teas that we have are the orange. Ooh. Orange. Um, Ooh, Robois. Yes, thank you. You can't speak. Then there's a pumpkin spice Robois. Mm -hmm. Ro there you go. You, get, you, had, you said it right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's a cough. The Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. Caffeine free. I, I specifically got that because of that. Because I feel like... I'm a, caf uh, a, um, a coffee drinker in the morning, but at, at nighttime, I really don't need caffeine in my diet, so I really need to and I'm not really much stay away of, from that. So I, a caffeine I, intaker. I, yeah, but I just prefer non-caffeine drinks at, um, at nighttime, which is usually when I drink tea. So, super excited about these three teas. Again, also, I love any type of Can. tea that comes in a tin, because I feel like it stays fresher for, well, more fresh for longer. I think it's just a look for you. It might be a look for me, too. Um, next, you see this is all kind of like mine's <laughs> lonesome. We can talk about this real quick. Let's just get rid of it. I thought this was super cute though. You just put it a little it hot cocoa cheap. to go. <laughs> but this would be cute for like a party favor. That would be very cute for a party. I love this spoon. I just noticed this is spoon. Right, you just pop and go. This would be super That's cute as like a little, a little, we'll um, a little favor. Or if, you know, if you're at work and just wanted to pop and go real quick. This is super cute. Um, that was a dollar. Yeah, it was something super cheap. Know. Next, we're gonna be the salted caramel hot cocoa. I'm excited for that. That's pretty much simple, cut and dry what that is. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the next drink is going to be, and I quote, disgusting. Um, the Korean uh, roasted <clears throat> barley tea. Barley. Just Im imagine exactly what barley would taste like. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> and it leaves a disgusting aftertaste. I hate to say that about anything from Trader Joe's, but it's absolutely it's disgusting. That's the only thing I probably will ever say. I don't like from Trader Joe's, it's just not very good. Okay, the pumpkin spice um, protein smoothie. I'll let you guys know how that is, um, but it looks super cute again, like the packaging, and I'm, I am gonna try again the protein. The main attraction, though, of course, is gonna be the ginger beer. <laughs> Ooh, you try it for dinner. We could try it tonight for dinner. We're just gonna have a pumpkin, a pumpkin thing. We're trying the butternut squash mac and cheese tonight mm -hmm. uh, with tilapia. I think it's tilapia, blackened tilapia. And then we're gonna try the pumpkin rolls that we just showed you guys. And then um, I guess we'll try the ginger brew with our caramel and the popcorn. popcorn. Yep, yeah, popcorn. So we'll have an update soon. On to the next section, which is home goods, body stuff. Stay tuned. So first thing we have is the ginger ultra moisturizing hand cream. First of all, I shouldn't start saying that I love this packaging. Um, let's open it up. Let's. Just to see what the tube looks like. Ooh, super cute. Put it in the camera. Can we see? Can we see? That is really cute. This is a cute for like the bathroom. Yeah. These little striations. Very cute. I like that. Let's give it a try. Give her a go. Mm -hmm. My hands are pretty ashy, as I'm sure the, ooh. Look at the consistency, it's pretty. It's pretty thick. It's coming it out shea, pretty slow. It has shea butter in there, coconut oil. Ooh, it smells lovely. Mm hmm. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah, wow. Very autumn, very fall. It smells, you can really smell the ginger. Yeah, I like it. it smells really I like good. ginger too. It's opening me up. <laughs> And then we have the Honeycrisp Apple Scented, I love candles, <laughs> um, made with natural soy wax, lead free cotton wick. I'm not a fan of soy candles. I've been trying to, I feel like every company right now is doing soy. Um, I try to stay away from soy, but I'm still excited to see what this smells like. Whip her so, open. You're right. Thank you for that. <laughs> Honeysuckle Apple. Oof. You can already, yep. <laughs> You guys, there, go ahead. There it is. Mm. It smells really, really good. It smells like a pink lady apple. Um, it smells like how a pink lady apple tastes. Yeah. Um, pumpkin body butter. Mm -hmm. oh, Other it. side. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's in her. 
water, coconut oil, shea butter, glycerin. Okay. Yeah, this seems like it'd be really hydrating as well. And then we have this foaming hand soap. This is cute for the bath, and this is just basic. Um, no animal testing on this, so that's pretty cool. Also has some pear. It probably smells similar to the honey honeysuckle um, apple. Like, um, pumpkin, like very faint. Yeah, it's very faint. Very faint, but that's the consistency there. You can see that? Yeah. And then just a pumpkin. Yeah, nice little pumpkin. 69 cents. Bye. I think you can put a face on here and say like, bye. Look, I'm gonna keep it here in the frame. Mm -hmm. Ba da ba da ba ba. Ba da ba da ba ba. Hey! Thank you for joining my show. I am the star of the show. <laughs> Yay, go pumpkins! Herky! <laughs> Until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!